Hey YouTube, it's Jeff at Dark Blue Metals. And if you're anything like me, you've been on YouTube for quite a while looking at different machining videos or maybe videos about carpentry or other shop type environments. And you'll always, well, you should always hear, make sure you're wearing your eye protection. Safety first, you know. Wear the proper safety glasses. Always protect your eyes. And to me, that's very important because I have two strikes against me already. Uh, I'm a diabetic and I'm also a welder, which means I really need to take very good care of my eyes if I want to have them into the future and have them working as well as they do now. So I take my eye protection seriously. If you have a couple of minutes, please hang out with me and just listen to some of the information I want to kind of pass along because yes, it's true, you should always wear your safety glasses and I'm very, very grateful for all of the people out on YouTube who keep on trying to uh, be persistent in forcing that on you to remember, grab your glasses. But there's not a lot of videos out here talking about what are proper safety glasses. Now, there is an organization in the United States called OSHA. It's a, it's a government agency, the Occupational Health and Safety Administration. And they have a list of all kinds of different criteria and codes that manufacturing companies and uh, industrial companies in the country kind of have to live up to. Uh, for people who work in these facilities, they love them most of the time because they're really looking out for the average Joe. But owners of these giant companies, people that have to pay the fines if things aren't quite right, tend to look at them as another government agency who's here to help. And there are people have been arguing that, hey, you know, it's because of OSHA's strict standards that some manufacturing companies have actually left the United States and it's cost us jobs. But we're not here to talk about the political aspects of what a government agency has or has not done. The one thing that they did do that was useful to everybody, you, me, anybody else who's interested in learning about eye protection, they went out and they did all of the work. They did the studies, came up with the statistics for the minimum safety requirements, and there are a lot of good things on their website. And all you need to do is look up OSHA Z87.1 and just enter that into Google and this page will pop up. I'm going to link where I got this information from in the description, but URLs are always changing, so if you don't find it there, if the link is broken, uh, just Google that and uh, you'll find it. And these guys have done everything. In relation to welding, um, I even uh, learned a few new things. Like for example, the arc shade, I always was told, shade 10 lens if you're doing arc welding. End of story. Now they're saying, the minimum protective shade for shielded metal arc welding, if you're under 60 amps, is shade 7. If it's 60 to 160, it's shade 8. 60 to 250, or 160 to 250 rather, shade 10. And I've always wondered why I had a difficult time seeing welding at low amperages. So they have the minimum safety requirements all printed out for you. But I don't want to talk too much about welding safety. I want to talk about regular eye protection, um, safety glasses. Now these don't look like they're half bad. I bought these today for this video at a dollar store and it looks like they're nice. They've got reinforcements uh, in the lenses, halfway decent arms, kind of... Well, isn't that interesting? So yeah, these are safety glasses from a dollar store. I'm kind of glad that happened on video. I just felt a little screw fall out and hit my foot. Um, but not all safety glasses are created equal, obviously. I just took these things out of the box. Uh, if you look at a pair of safety glasses you buy at a Home Depot or at some big box store, 90% of the time they'll have a little uh, inscription, a little imprint, somewhere on the safety glasses, whether it's on the arms or on the lenses, and it will say Z87 or Z87.1 or Z87+. Plus. And what that does is it says, we meet the OSHA standards for proper eye protection. These do not. I literally paid a dollar for these and I, I still just can't believe they broke in my hands. So why is the OSHA certification important? Well, I'm gonna give you a visual demonstration, but not before I put on some real safety glasses. These happen to be made by 3M. Um, these were also made in China, the same country of origin that these came from, but these are OSHA certified. So I'm not knocking things that were made in China. These are the safety glasses that I use. I like the 3M safety glasses. They fit my face nice. 
and they work and they have the minimum safety requirements per OSHA. So what I want to show you are these two pieces of plastic. They look pretty similar. One might be a little dustier than the other. Uh, I just got these today for this demonstration. Now you could put two pairs of safety glasses together that look, look identical. One might have the Z8 7.1 stamp, the other one might not. So what's the real difference? Well, you don't know what kind of plastic is in those safety glasses. Now if I take these and put them on their side, one is, this one, is an eighth of an inch thick, so it's 125 thousandths thick. This is 90 thousandths thick. So theoretically you would think, oh, it's thicker, it's heavier duty, right? Well, not quite. So the thin one's gonna break a lot faster. I mean, it only makes sense. Okay, it's not breaking. Well, that tells me it's a different material right off the bat. So even though they look the same, you don't know which one is polycarbonate or Lexan or the same material they make bulletproof glass out of or acrylic, plexiglass, which will shatter in a heartbeat. If you're someone who happens to wear prescription eyeglasses, don't use them in place of regular safety glasses. They make specially designed safety glasses that will fit over another pair of glasses. And one more thing, if your glasses really start to get scratched and fogged up where you can't see your work and you can't um, have a full field of vision, throw them away, get another pair. Well YouTube, there you have it. It is definitely not the most exciting video I've ever done. Um, no sparks are flying, I'm not hitting anything with hammers, and uh, I haven't set the damn thing on fire. So, uh, kind of dull, but I do think that the information is important and worth putting out there. And now you know what to look for when you're purchasing safety glasses to know that they meet the standards set forth that industry and industrial places around our country adhere to. It's designed to keep us safe, and that's the biggest and most important thing that I'm trying to convey. One last thing that I do want to do just before I wrap up this video, and I, I, I think this is hilarious. I want to go back to these cheap safety glasses for a second with the broken arm. Um, I, I took the package, and I'm looking at the package, and it says that these were designed and engineered in the United States, but made in China exclusively for the company that was selling them. Uh, I'm not going to mention the company's name, but um, I think it's hilarious, and I'm going to put their catchphrase up here. Uh, it says that nothing is impossible with confidence, perseverance, and courage. You would have to have a lot of courage, or perhaps stupidity, to trust your vision to these.